Hi, this is Suzanne for Rainbow Loom. Today I'll be showing you how to make the zigzag bracelet. This is an advanced level design. To make this bracelet you will need 16A colored bands, 16B colored bands, 18C colored bands, and a C clip. I will be using blue, white, and red to make this bracelet. It's a good idea to have your supplies ready before you begin, so pause the video here until you're ready to follow along. Now, let's get started. Convert your loom to the rectangle configuration. All of the pins should be in a straight row. Place your loom so that the red arrow is pointing away from you. The zigzag bracelet is made with a series of squares. The squares alternate from the left side of the loom to the right. The squares on the left side of the loom are placed differently than the squares on the right. The diagram on your screen shows you the order the bands are placed for both left and right sides. Alternate the colors of bands you use for each square from A to B to C. We'll start from the center pin and follow the left side pattern using A colored bands. Start from the center pin and place your first A colored band up the center of the loom. The second band you place will be to the left. This is a this is a left side pattern. Third band will be placed up the left side and the fourth band will be placed back to the center. Now we'll place a right side pattern. We'll be using the B colored bands. We'll start from this pin and place the first band going up the center of the loom. This is a right side pattern, so our next band will be placed out to the right. The third band will be going up the right side of the loom. And the fourth will be placed back to the center pin. We're alternating from blue to white to red and we'll be placing a left side pattern. Your first red band will be placed forward. Your second will be placed out to the left. The third will be placed up the left side of the loom. And the fourth will be placed back to the center. Next, we'll be using the A colored band or the blue band and we'll be placing a right side pattern. We place the band up the center of the loom and the second band will be placed out to the right. The third band will be placed up the right side and the fourth will be placed back to the center. Pause the video here and refer to the diagrams on your screen as you place the rest of the squares. I'll fast forward from here until I reach the end of the loom. And once we've placed this last band, we'll need to place a cap band on the center pin. Use your C-colored band, place two fingers through each side, twist it into a figure eight, turn it back upon itself, and place it on that center pin. Now we're ready to start looping the bands. Turn the loom so that the red arrow is pointing toward you. And quickly push down your bands as you get ready to start looping. We start from the center pin and once again the left side of the squares will be looped differently 
then the right side. Refer to the diagram on your screen to loop the first square on the left. We start from the center pin, and our first band will be looped out to the left. You pull your cap band back, grab your top C-colored band, hold your cap band down, and pull that out to the left. The second band will be looped up the center. Pull the cap band back and pull that forward. Third band will be looped on the left side. Pull these bands above it back. Grab the bottom band and pull it forward. And then we pull this last one into the center. Now we move up to this right side pattern square and the first band we will loop will be out to the right. With your hook, pull all the bands back, grab the top B colored band and pull that out to the right. The second band will be looped up the center, pull all the bands above that back. Now you're grabbing the bottom B colored band and pulling that forward. Third band to be looped is on the right side. Pull the bands above it back, loop it forward. And fourth band will be looped to the center. Now we return to the left side pattern. We'll be pulling this first band out to the left. Second band up the center. Third band up the left, and fourth band back into the center. Continue looping the squares following the left and right patterns until you reach the end of the loom. I'll fast forward from here. And after you've looped this last one to the center, you've finished looping all your bands. Now that we've finished looping the bands, we're ready to finish the bracelet. On this last pin, pull all the bands up to the top. Slide your hook down through that channel and tilt it out to the side. On the end of your hook, place a C-colored rubber band and pull back. Slide your hook back through the channel and place both ends of the band upon your hook and then move that to the thickest part of your hook. Then with your fingers, start lifting the bands from your loom. And remove your bracelet. If made on one loom, this bracelet will need to be extended to fit a wrist comfortably. To extend a bracelet, you must first decide how many bands you'll need for your extension. You'll place these bands along one side of the loom. For smaller wrists, you may only need three or four bands for your extension. For larger wrists, you may need six or more. You place these bands in a single chain along one side of the loom. And once you've placed them, You'll place the cap band from the bracelet on this last pin. You locate the cap band on the end of your bracelet, stretch it from this last pin to the one behind it. Then you loop the bands of your single chain extension. And once you loop this last band, 
you'll stretch it to the middle pin. This creates an area where you can attach your C-clip. Grab your C-clip so that the open side is facing toward you and snap it over the bands. Once that's on there securely, you can lift it from the loom. On the other end of your bracelet, pull your hook away and slide your fingers into that band. Move the bands to one side of your C-clip and then snap your C-clip over these bands. Pull and make sure it's on there securely. And there you have your finished zigzag bracelet.